to another video and welcome back to episode four of my bulking series. So I want to have a bit of a chat because last week wasn't great. We obviously had some sadness in our family. Our family dog who was 17, she actually passed away. So obviously in my last video, I was a little bit upset. And yeah, like the next day she was put to sleep because she just wasn't very well at all and it just wasn't fair. So that was so sad. And it's so hard to train when you've got like stuff on your mind and you're trying to have a good session, but it's honestly, so difficult and I just found it really hard to like zone in and of course like on those days you know when you're like emotionally not feeling great it's really hard to get the calories in and it's really hard to like even track your food and I'm gonna be honest probably like three or four days last week I only really tracked all like lunchtime and then kind of just guessed and probably to be honest didn't really hit the macros that well so today is a new day it's a new week it's Tuesday and we're gonna try and have a little bit of a better week so I'm actually going into London to train at a new gym called John Reed Fitness. I'm training with my friend Layla. You guys probably follow her, but we're actually doing an upper body session, which I thought was perfect because I haven't shown you an upper body workout yet. So I will take you through that. We can go through a great upper body workout. I think over the last few weeks, my strength has come on a lot. So like I've been hitting loads of PBs, which is great, but I do feel like maybe I need to change things up now because I just took my progress videos and photos there. And I do feel like I could probably put push the calories up a little bit more. And whether that's me actually just eating the same amount on a rest day now, I think I might do that. I'm gonna have a think about it and then I'm gonna let you guys know. Or whether that's me increasing them even more in training days. I'm gonna think about it and then we'll go over what I decide to do. But yeah, I definitely feel like it's time to push forward a little bit more because I definitely wanna see a bit more progress now. But I'm not gonna be too hard on myself. Well, this is my fourth week, so it hasn't been long at all. And I think it's so important to remember when you start a muscle gain journey that it is not gonna take 12 weeks like a diet it's just not like it's gonna take months and months and even years obviously i'm not bulking for years but i do want to make significant progress so we're gonna keep on track we're gonna reevaluate, and we're gonna see what we need to do so i'm gonna head into london now and i will see you at the gym just did a little bit of a food shop because I'm planning to do a couple of recipes today and dinner is going to be good today guys and I'm definitely going to show you because I've been loving I know this doesn't sound like me but I've also been loving simple meals recently do you get what I mean like meals that taste good but don't actually require any time at all and I literally have five ingredients in them I think they're the best meals to have. We've been making simple meals. I literally was so hungry after that gym session and obviously I'm trying to eat more. So I was like, I can't wait. <laughs> so I went into Marks and Spencer's and picked up that chicken sandwich. And the macros are actually really good on that. Like I tracked it and it says per pack, 420 calories. 28 grams of protein and 43 grams of carb and 13 fat. So that's really good if you're gonna get a sandwich chicken and stuffing sandwich from M&S. And then I also grabbed, you know, like one of those shakes in a bottle. So, so far today I've had 100 grams of protein, which is great because I've been really struggling to hit it. Like, obviously, like I said last week, my tracking was not great. So my goals this week are to track a full day and don't just give up in the afternoon and also try to hit my protein a lot more as well because again it was just something that i was slacking on i'm trying to like set myself mini goals because it really helps with kind of keeping you on track and i spoke at the beginning about kind of calories and i've decided i'm gonna go with 2500 calories on 
on training days and then 2,300 on non-training days. But I might wean myself off that and actually just do 2,500 every single day. So I'm gonna test it. And if I'm hungry on rest days, I'm just gonna eat more because it's a perfect time to do it. And I really wanna see results and I'm motivated to do so. So I'm just gonna try and eat more food. But anyways, I'm gonna meal prep a recipe and I'm gonna do a tomato and basil pasta with chicken, obviously, because it's all I eat. So we've got some fresh tomatoes. Do you, know what? Do you know what? I always go for the better quality tomatoes, not because I'm a snob, but because when you cook them in a pan, they just go so much better. We're their own brand of like Tesco and Sainsbury's. I don't know, they just, I wanna say melt, but that's not really the right word. They just don't cook is what I'm trying to say, I think. So yeah, we've got some tomatoes, chicken breast. I'm gonna cheat just a tomato and basil sauce because why not? We're a busy girl in a rush. Then we've got some mozzarella, cream. I normally get the low fat one, but they didn't have any and I'm on a bulk, so I don't care. Then we've got some spinach. I'm gonna chop that up and we've got some pasta, obviously. So that is gonna be my meal prep recipe for the week. I am gonna film it for Instagram. So I'll give you guys a little bit of BTS, show you how I do it. And I'll put the ingredients down below as well if you wanna make it. And there we go guys, there is my chicken and mozzarella pasta meal prep for just 542 calories and over 50 grams of protein. And that was so easy by just swapping out, you know, sata and spices for that pot. Yes, it's a bit more expensive, but so quick and easy. And I've now got two days of meal prep. All right, so it's literally quarter to five. I need to get on with my online coaching check-ins. I try to do them in, in the morning normally, but obviously I've been so busy today that I just haven't really had the time. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with that, but it's snack time. We're having a Belvita breakfast strawberry yogurt duo crunch. These are literally my bulking go-to. So I actually put a story on Instagram basically asking you guys to ask me questions about my bulk because I'm trying to do it once a week so that you guys can sort of keep up with everything and know what I'm doing. One of the questions was, how do you fit in your foods without feeling super full? So this, for two biscuits, you've got 225 calories, 35 grams of carb, 3.5 grams of protein but 35 grams of carbon and I could literally eat about 10 of these. So that is how I get in the carbs. It's just finding things that you love. And when you're trying to gain muscle, don't feel like you have to just eat clean foods because it's gonna be really hard to get the calories in. Tracking your macros automatically makes you eat better. And it's really important to remember that. And it's okay if you have a Belvita bar, it's not bad. So yeah, don't feel like you have to kind of eat just healthy foods, even though to be honest, I hate it when people kind of call foods just healthy. It's just the balance of everything. So that would be my answer for that but yeah i'm gonna eat this and then do some work mm. good evening guys i am hungry and i didn't think i would be but this is great my body is adjusting i'm ready for dinner <laughs> so it is course to seven to be honest i normally have dinner around seven seven thirty i don't know i've always been a bit of a later dinner person because I'm just working to be honest, that's my answer. For dinner tonight, we're gonna to be making a broccoli and chicken hoisin stir fry. I love hoisin sauce, I don't know why, I think it's just so good. When I was a child, whenever we went to the Chinese, I'd, you know like the duck wraps, I'd always like layer the hoisin sauce on and then like get the cucumber and just basically eat all the cucumber with the hoisin sauce before the actual duck came out. So yeah, we're gonna be making chicken with hoisin sauce and broccoli and we're gonna serve it with rice. And this is exactly what you need and how you do it. So to make this recipe, we're gonna need some rice so i'm making two portions we're gonna just use a pack because it's easy we've got 300 grams of diced chicken breast now i couldn't find any hoisin sauce but this one is also absolutely fine so i'm gonna be using this one then we've got some light soy sauce and then we've also got some broccoli
there we go guys there is my chicken and broccoli with hoisin sauce how good does that look and it was so easy to make and just so quick in this whole bowl there are 427 calories and over 40 grams of protein this would also be great for meal prep you could just heat it up and then leave it to cool and leave it in the fridge for three days so i think that my meals today have kind of shown you that you don't have to be extravagant you can make shortcuts and you can still eat well so don't feel like you have to make all these ridiculously crazy meals because you definitely don't especially if you're a busy person and i know how hard it is in the week like it is so hard especially if you work away for someone else it is really hard and i get it so don't overcomplicate stuff for yourself and it just make sure that you know you're planning because if you're sticking to a plan and you know exactly what you've got in the fridge, it's just so much easier when you're so busy in the week. Delish. Okay guys, that was my full day, day in the life. Kind of was a full day of eating to be honest. I've still actually got 300 calories, but I've saved it tactically because I'm gonna have a bowl of cereal. So I'm gonna have, I don't know why I like these. They're just, they're really good. If you've never tried them, they're delish. They're blueberry wheats and I'm gonna have it with skim milk, maybe a little bit of sugar because why not? And then I'm also gonna have a cup of tea and maybe a couple of biscuits because I've literally just got carbs to use up. I've been really tactical with my protein today and I'm over it, I'm 150 grams and I aim for 140. So yeah, goes to show when you plan and when you try and have it with every single meal, it's so much easier to hit. But I hope you, enjoyed this little vlog and of course i'll put the full workout below that i did with layla if you have any questions obviously let me know but i'm really 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 enjoying this series i feel like it's given me a massive motivation boost which is exactly what i needed and i'm just really excited to kind of see where this will go a lot of people have kind of been asking me how long i'm gonna bolt for you know what my plan is and to be honest my plan originally was to do it until june however I have booked a little trip to Marbella for my birthday, which is mid-June. So I don't know. It depends how I feel. Like if I don't feel great in myself, obviously I don't want to not feel great on myself for my birthday. At the beginning of May, then I'm going to do a bit of a mini diet for like four to six weeks. But if I feel okay, I'm just going to keep pushing through. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated, obviously. I'm just going to try and keep really consistent, fueling myself most importantly, and just make sure that my sessions are going well and that my weights keep going up because that is the most important thing when you're trying to gain muscle, that you are getting stronger. So so yeah, I will keep you up to date and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon for next week. Bye.